Welcome to this Pharos Expert training video. In the previous video, we explained the core features of Pharos Expert and introduced the concepts of scenes and spaces. This video will cover working with touch stations, the concept of state using tags, and the integration options offered by Pharos Expert. Pharos Expert Control can run projects without any additional hardware. However, it's also possible to connect one or more expert touch devices to an expert controller for straightforward user interaction with your project. You can add up to 32 expert touch devices to a single expert project. Setting up expert touch is very simple. To add an expert touch to your project, click the add items button in the canvas toolbar and select stations. From here, you can select your device and add it to a space by clicking your location on the canvas. A touch station will show controls for the space in which it is placed on the canvas and any child spaces. If your touch station needs controls for the entire project, place it in the project space. This will open a helper that guides you through the setup process of selecting a theme, which defines the layout and navigation of your touch interface, a skin, which changes the appearance of the touch interface, and configuring pages with options to show controls such as intensity master and color overrides. Once pages have been configured, there is the ability to define what else is shown on Expert Touch, including tags, schedule, and the option to include a customizable welcome screen. The welcome screen can be configured to show custom text and images, as well as tag and scene controls. Finally, there are options to require a code to unlock the touch station and set the station's default page. Click Finish to save your changes. Once configured, it's easy to simulate Expert Touch in software. To do this, double-click a station on the canvas, or locate your Expert Touch in the Network tab of the Tools menu. Right-click and select Preview Interface. If you need to make any changes to your station's configuration, right-click Expert Touch and select Edit Interface to open the Touch Station configuration window. It's possible to test your programming without requiring access to Expert Touch hardware. Press the Play button below the canvas to start simulation. Then open your touch interface preview. Changes made on the touch station will be shown on the canvas and on your fixtures if a controller is connected and live output is enabled. In the software introduction part one video, we touched on using tags to set a lighting state. Let's take this project, the lighting of a kiosk at a venue with irregular opening hours and use it to demonstrate tags. The kiosk's lighting should be different depending on whether the kiosk is open or closed and whether it's day or night. This could be achieved by creating three scenes and using the off scene. Typically, this would be presented to the user as four options under scenes on expert touch. Now let's imagine the nighttime lighting should change on different days of the week, and should also change depending on the season. There are now so many possible looks that presenting your user with individual scenes would become cluttered and confusing. Thanks to tags in Pharos Expert, examples such as this can be handled with the user only needing to choose between open and close. Expert will make light of the rest. To get started with tags, click Configure Tags in the Control tab of the Tools menu and create a new tag by clicking the Add button. For this example, we need to set tags for day or night, opening times, type of day, and season. Now that tags are set up, we can associate scenes with tags. To connect a scene to a tag, Navigate to the Control tab in the Tools menu and click Tag Scenes. From here, select a scene from the list on the left and select which tag or tags to associate with that scene. You can filter scenes by space using the drop-down box at the top of the window. You can select multiple scenes and the tags you select will apply to all the highlighted scenes. Tags apply to your entire project. The same tags will work with scenes regardless of their space. Once scenes have been tagged, you can check your project's behaviour using simulation. Click the play button below the canvas to start simulated playback. Notice how active scenes are highlighted in the browser. Project tags are shown in the control tab of the tools menu and can be manually selected to change the project state. Changes are visible on the canvas. Let's look at fading between scenes. Take for example our open at night scenes. If our example kiosk opens in the evening, we might need to fade the lighting scene over two seconds. But if the store is already open when it changes to night time, we might need a longer fade, five minutes, for example. Each scene has a fade time associated with it, and this can be adjusted by selecting the scene on the canvas or in the browser and changing the value next to fade time under timing in the property editor. This is the time over which the lighting will fade when the scene is triggered. Tags are also associated with the fade time, which takes priority over the fade time of individual scenes. 
To adjust the fade time of a tag, navigate to the Control tab of the Tools menu and click Configure Tags. Select the tag you wish to edit and click the Edit button at the top of the window. From here, click Properties and change the fade time in the text box. Click Commit to save your changes. When adding new tags from the Configure Tags window, several suggestions are presented. These are special tags which interact with the hardware such as the Rotary Dial tag or with the Schedule in the case of the Seasons tag. It's also possible to create a custom tag by selecting Custom. For example, let's create the tag for cleaning. Every tag set must contain at least two tags, one of which must be set as the default tag. Each tag has a number of properties allowing you to set a tag description, disable the tag set completely, configure tag changes from touch devices or schedules, as well as the option to adjust fade times when the active tag changes. Tags can be enabled or disabled from within the configure schedule window, found in the Control tab of Tools. In this example, there are a number of tag sets that interact with the schedule. These can be enabled or disabled from the calendar view. In order to add a tag to the schedule, click the Add New Event button at the top of the window. From here, select Tag and choose the tag set and tag you wish to schedule. Clicking Next shows options for timing and recurrence, just like scheduling a scene. Note that only exceptions to the default tag in a tag set and not the default tag itself are shown on the calendar view. This helps to keep the calendar clear and easy to understand at a glance. Alongside scheduling, tags can also be controlled from a station. Using touch station simulation in Faros Expert, it's easy to see how tags are presented on the touch interface. As covered earlier in this video, tags can be included on the welcome page. Besides offering a full HTTP API, which is fully documented in our online support pages, Faros Expert also offers a simple Ethernet API to receive commands and queries using UDP. To enable and configure the simple Ethernet API, navigate to the main menu and click Configure Simple Ethernet API. From here, it's possible to enable the API, configure the UDP port on which Expert Control listens for queries, and enable feedback data with options to configure the IP address and UDP port on which Expert Control sends feedback. More information is available on our online help pages. Faros Expert offers simple ways to make interactions between inputs and your lighting. For example, a key switch could be connected to the built-in inputs on Expert Control and programmed to set the tag to cleaning whenever the key switch is activated. From the Control tab in the Tools menu, click Configure Interactions. To add a new interaction, click the Add button at the top of the window and configure the inputs and outputs you'd like to interact. For this example, we would select Digital Input and Expert Control Input 1 and Active Tag in Cleaning. Expert Control Inputs can be configured as Contact Closure, Digital Input or Analog. Inputs can be configured by selecting your controller in the Network tab of the Tools menu and clicking Configure Inputs in the Property Editor. Once created, the properties of the interaction can be modified to specify how the output should change when the input is activated. In this case, we will toggle the active tag to normal when the input is off and cleaning when the input is on. Now all that remains is to click finish and create interaction. Let's look at another example where we want an off-the-shelf DALI button to interact with the DMX lighting in our project. First I add a new interaction, then select DALI scene as my input. For this example, we'll we use group 0. Now we need to set our output. For this example, I will select scenes in the kiosk space. Now, configuring the properties of the interaction, I can select which scenes in Expert correspond to each DALI scene in Group 0. This is a powerful feature with options for creating highly configurable interactions between scenes, tags, DALI controllers, inputs, outputs, and more. That wraps up our overview of software programming in Expert. Please see other videos in this collection to learn more about specific features as well as information and guides on how to get your expert hardware set up.